My name is Eseta Toelupe, and I've been working here for 31 years at the Polynesian Cultural Center. I'm from the islands of Tonga, and I'm working here at the Tongan village as an artisan. Mostly I taking care of the tapa making or tangatu in Tonga, and I, I love it. Tapa is made out from a bark of a tree. We strip the inner bark. We have to soak the bark, and in the morning, around six o'clock, then we start pounding. We make stencil as a pattern, as we call it kupesi in Tonga. Then we have a, a fruit of a pentanus, as we use as a paint brush. We trace the pattern with the, the black ink, then we have a piece of tapa cloth. Before fabrics introduced to the islands, we used tapa as clothing. Now we use tapa for our ceremonial, for a dancing costume or wedding costume. It's very, very important in our culture. When somebody dies, we have to wrap our loved one with tapa cloth before burial. To visit that family, we have to take tapa and mats too. Money was not really a big thing those days. Only tapa and mats were the one we used like as money to give to show our love to a family if something happened there. When I grew up in Tonga, I was very rascal, trying to find things to do. After school, I had to look for my mom. She's at the tapa house making tapa with the women. They sing, they tell stories, but their hands still moving. I love to go sit there and, and touch and paint, you know, put my hands in paint. Sometimes when we spill liquid or we make a mistake, they will chase us to go do something else. Go play, you <laughs> know. But that is how we learn how to make tapa back home, to be with my mother and our aunties and our grandmas. It's very important for the, the young one to know how to make tapa because the culture will be there forever. And it's very important for the young people to know their culture. They should know how to make the tapa. I remember when the king's father was here, King Siasi Tupol the Fourth. I heard the king say, teach them how to do it, because they're gonna be the future of Tonga. When the tourists or the guests come here, I really feel free to express myself to them and to show them the tapa making. It's a, a nice feeling to, to have that feeling that, you know, they are happy when they visit here and they come and learn about our culture. And when they leave this place, sometimes they come, give me a hug or anything like that. And it's always make my day to, to see them happy when they come and learn or watch what we're doing here.